In this exercise, we will take a three-dimensional object, which you see on the screen here, and apply a texture to it. And we'll be rendering in OpenGL to see the impact of applying the texture and then adjusting its location on the surface of the object. So the first thing we need to do is go to the OpenGL options and make sure that Use Textures is selected. And now let's render in OpenGL. And now we'll apply the texture. So let's click on the object to select it. And in the Object Info palette, there are three tabs on top. We'll go to the third one on the right, which is the Render tab. And then under the Texture drop-down box, we will select Texture. And there are three textures in this file. It selected one of them by default, but that's not the one we will use for this exercise. So let's click in the Texture Selection window and select Tile Stone 10 Small. We can double click on it to select it. And now we can see how the texture has been applied to the object. Now we're going to be uh, adjusting the placement of the texture on the object. So let's go to Saved View 2, which is a close-up view. And uh, we can see that the tiles on the different faces are not exactly aligned with each other. So we will make some changes to the settings in the Object Info palette to try and align these tiles on the different surfaces. The first thing we'll do is adjust the map type, which by default in this file is set to perimeter, so we will click on the map type drop-down box and select Auto Align Plane. And you can see already that it is almost perfectly aligned. And then we'll make another small adjustment. We'll scroll down in the Object Info palette and select Follow Longest Edge. This is one of the options that are available down here. Click on that. And now we see that the tiles are very nicely aligned on all of these three planes. But they may not be perfectly aligned in other locations. So let's take a look at another spot. Go to Saved View 3. And here we are near the, near the top of the object. And we can see there are some differences up here. Let's select the object again. And we'll make a couple of more adjustments to see if we can line these up better in this location. So in the Object Info palette, we have a couple of locations where we can offset the alignment of the texture horizontally and vertically. So we'll go to the Offset H or Offset Horizontal box and put in 15 millimeters. And then we'll go to the offset vertical and put in 22 millimeters. We can hit tab afterwards. And now we can see that in this area now the tiles are very nicely aligned. 